Good day. It is mere seconds after I stopped the last recording. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Hardcore Minecraft. I was just about to uh, actually put a couple of salmon to cook on the campfire, which I had forgotten about. And uh, I was going to venture down into the depths of the world to get some lava. And I'm going to try to build an infinite lava source with dripstone, a cauldron, and, and lava. Um, so I'm going to put my food there and descend into the depths carefully. There we go. So I made another portal and uh, came back and it's asymmetrical, which has only happened to me a couple of times. So the portal comes back to another location than, than from whence I did come. And I don't really know what causes that, but it's not super far away, it's just kind of annoying. Now then I'll need my bucket, which I will dump out into the uh, the water, the pond that I made here, right here. And then I will come up here and grab myself a bucket of lava, right there. Good news. Good news, I have a bucket of lava, which seems impractical to carry around, but maybe I have a long handle. Maybe I have really well insulated gloves. Not quite sure how I'm carrying this bucket of lava around, but we don't ask too many questions. Is the lava bucket pulsating with different levels of light, or is that just because I'm passing torches? I don't know the answer to that. I'll find out when I get to the top, I guess. If it is pulsating, I've never noticed that before. Okay, let's stand here and look at it. It is not pulsating. That's just due to the. It was just due to the varying light levels as I climbed up the ladder between the torches. That was kind of cool, though. It looked a bit like the lava was pulsating. Now then, I definitely don't want to build a lava contraption next to a wooden house. That seems like a recipe for disaster. So let me grab some of these. Uh, these. Um, no, where are they? Here. Deep slate tiles, and I will make myself some, uh, <coughs> pardon me, some deep slate tile <coughs> steps. Oh, no, not with those ones, sorry, not, not with those ones. These ones, deep slate tile steps, stairs, and I will build a little platform somewhere over... Oh, the fish. I forgot about that. The cooked fish, right over here somewhere. And um, maybe I'll put the stairs facing away from the house. and Or the... Yeah, that's what I meant. Stairs away from the house. Maybe I'll start them here. Maybe I'll start them here. Like this. I just don't want them to be right next to the uh, the wooden structure, that's all. Like so. And that's probably enough. And then I will do this, and I will build a... Oh, let me think about this now. I'll build a little... Um, platform, like so, and then I will, oh, I'll need a, I'll need a construction prop, I'll put a block there, and then dig that out, and then I will put the lava in there. 
Um, you know what? I need to pause and my daughter is texting me. I need to answer her. I'll be right back. <laughs> Alrighty. I am back a few minutes later. Uh, all right, so let's put the lobber in there. And um, hopefully that's enough to keep the sparks from flying. Now, does lava drip through here? Uh, I'm going to say, oh, there it is. Okay, it does, in fact, drip through there. So that's cool. So I think the next thing I want, and I'm not sure if this is deep enough. Let's see here. If I put the cauldron here, here, will that actually fill up or will it just, I think you need to use dripstone for this for some reason. I think the drips just sort of don't go in. Maybe that's why. Maybe the logic is the dripstone focuses it maybe. Let's see what happens here. I don't know if I have this right. Oh, it's nighttime already. seem to be dripping, does it? Hmm, maybe I have this wrong. Oh, well that was a spark I think from the... Oh, is it dripping now? Did I just see a drip? Aha, there you go, look at that. It does, it does in fact focus the lava. Wow, that took a minute though. That's interesting. So I think what happens after probably quite a while I think, <laughs> is that the, uh, is that the cauldron will slowly fill up? I'm not sure. Anyway, that's the idea. Let's see what happens with that. Come back to that after some extended period of time. Okay. Well, isn't that exciting? Um, what else to do here? What else to do that's not super trivial? Uh, I could go exploring a bit uh, since I have food and I have other things that I might wish. I have all of these wheat seeds that I could probably just compost. Real quick, I don't know. I already have a fair bit of, of bone meal which you get from composting. That's the main idea you can use to grow stuff more quickly. Maybe I'll, since I'm three quarters of the way to my compost bin. The reason I didn't set the compost bin up right near to my house is that I don't want villagers to take up the farming profession and then decide they're going to move into move into my house. Which, with the bed on the second floor, I'm not sure if that would happen or not, but anyway, that was my thinking. So I should, there should be a farmer here with the compost bin. So I got six whole sets of bone meal out of that, and wow, the wheat is, that's not, a, oh, here's the weaponsmith. He wants iron, and, oh, this is interesting. I guess this is the only other way to get a bell, other than stealing it from a village, is to get a, to trade for it. I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, I certainly don't have 36 emeralds, or I would consider it, uh, and coal is the other thing that he's, although you know, he's not given much... He's not getting much uh, experience for trading coal anymore, so that would require a lot of coal. So probably I'll have to uh, get s some more emeralds or maybe some iron if I find if I find a lot of iron. Now then, I what I haven't done with these portals is go in the go through from the overworld the far away one and come back or and see if it goes to the same place in the nether. This portal, which is a big old portal that I made, uh, dumps out right onto a, an, an overhang over the lava sea. And uh, 
That's a bit disturbing. Oh, I don't have any cobble. I do have dirt, though. Okay, I guess that's okay. I'll maybe, uh, where's that other portal? Right over here somewhere. Where is it? It's on the other side of this river crevice somewhere. Not sure if I've gone too far. Or not far enough. Oh, there's some pigs. There's a butcher who's interested in pork. I should probably start breeding pigs if I really want to uh, trade with him. I'll just murder some pigs for now since there's a bunch over here. Hello, piggy. What are you doing? Don't run away from me. I just want to kill you. Like, what's the big deal, bro? You're not even real. You're a, a simulated blocky pig. Why do you fear the sword? Uh, there was at least one more pig here. There he is. Um, okay. So where the hell is that portal? Grr. Maybe what I should have done is gone through the big one and come back. Oh, there's a lava. Lava fall over there. This is definitely too far. There's a pig over there. Oh, there's a bunch of pigs over there. Okay. Do I go kill some more pigs, murder pig, little pig murder spree, or do I go find, do I find that portal? Which is more interesting to me right this minute? I don't know. I kind of want to find that portal. Where the hell is it? Is it higher up? Oh, hello, piggy. Squee. Uh, no, I don't think it was this high up. I might see it from up here, though. Leaning, like leaning into the screen helps. It's a bad habit. Um, it's, it's a habit from real life, leaning in to see down. Okay, so I don't think the portal was this high up. Um, and I don't see it. Which strikes me as a little bit odd. Why don't I see it? Again with the leaning in. Huh. Well, I have no doubt that this is eternally fascinating viewing. Um, maybe I should give up on hunting for it like this. Maybe. <clears throat> Not that I'm going to immediately. I'm just going to have another quick look around the area here. I could see the waterfall from the portal. I think, you know what? I think it was further, further uh, south. And somewhere that I could kind of see the waterfall. There it is. There it is. I knew it was over here somewhere. Okay, so let's pop through this guy and see where that brings us in the nether. Doodle 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 Poink. Oh shit. Are you kidding me? Dude. can't hit them through the portal. Damn it. But he can shoot me. That's not fair. Okay, got him. Jeez. That's rude. Like, that's just rude. What are you doing ambushing me when I go through the, when I come through the portal? Like, jeez. Seriously, man. What does it matter with you? I guess that's something that I should really, uh, 
think about. I'll get some more stone when I come back through here next time. Okay, so anyway, my my goal was to find out whether it brought me back through the same to the same l place in the nether, and it does. And it also brings me out in the same place. So that's fine. What's less great is that the big portal over here by my base dumps me out and then brings then brings me back to the to a different location. That's actually not not ideal. So um oh jeez. Okay, whatever. Whatevs, I got no shortage of bread. And my armor is in pretty good shape, so I might want to build myself a roadway to between those portals, or maybe I construct another portal and see what and where it goes. That might be the that might be the better alternative. So I'm just gonna harvest some uh, azuka, and um, sugar cane. It's, I'm not actually gonna turn it turn it into sugar, as I guess was implied by my usage of the word. Sugar in Spanish. Azugar. I am totally Spanish speaking, not. As I'm sure you can tell if you are Spanish speaking and hearing my terrible pronunciation. So I apologize for that. Maybe you can coach me if you're a Spanish speaker and you want to coach someone a little bit. I, I'm, I'm coachable, I think. I think I am. 69 sugar cane, that'll give me uh, 23 paper, units of paper, so that's not bad. can work with that. Let's make some paper. Papier, what is... Oh, six, did I say 23? That is incorrect. It's a one-for-one one. sugar cane to paper, which is actually pretty good. Um, Oops, that, oh god, that's not what I want. Done. I was going to put the paper in this, in this chest here. And then the other thing I was going to maybe do was, oh, I have a whole bunch of pork chops. I was going to go find that villager and, oh, it's coming nighttime again. Uh, yeah, they'll all be in their beds. Okay, I was going to go find that butcher and trade some pork, some raw pork to him for emeralds, I think. And try and get him a little bit of experience. Alrighty. Mr. Butcher, I am coming for you. Hello. Once I get down the stairs, that is. So where is Mr. Mr. Butcher? That's a not also not a good accent. My apologies once again. There is one villager. Are you the butcher? Are you my daddy? Are you my daddy? Are any of you my butcher daddy? Aww. You are a cartographer. Oh, you'll trade paper for emeralds and emeralds for maps. That's cool. And you are a cleric. You want... What are your things? Reds? What are your things? Cler redstone and... And, and what? Oh, right, rotten flesh. Or sorry, emeralds for redstone and rotten flesh for emeralds. Okay, got it. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Where's the butcher? Where's the butcher? Where's the golem? Are you... You're the cartographer. Where the hell's the butcher? Two golems. Hello, butcher. Where are you? Hello, me store butcher. Oh, emeralds. Well, that's pleasant. Obviously, I never looked in that house before. Weird. Are you the butcher? You're not the butcher. You're nobody. Hey, quit closing the door. What's your problem? Don't be a jerk face. You're an untraded villager. Why are you slamming the door in my face nonstop? Like, that's rude. You are a jackass. And what's in here? Nothing but seeds. All right. So this leaves me wondering... Yeah, here's some more gardens that I did actually find, but uh, distributed all over the 
sides of slopes with water leaking all over the place. Uh, where is the butcher? What is the crafting bench for a butcher? This is the cartography one. There's two cartographers running around this village, and if I had left the that building alone, there would be three, maybe. Um, oh, actually, four, potentially. Why would... I don't know why... Uh, anyway, it's semi-random, but I don't know why a village would spawn with so many um, cartography stations. It's weird. It's weird. It's not balanced. What do we have here? Just a workbench. Um, am I out of buildings in this direction? Yes, I am. Okay, I need to figure out, maybe it'll be in this one with a, uh, with a little pasture out back and a cow. Ah, you look like you might be a butcher. Yes, you are. Cool, let's see if we can't get you ooh, just enough to make you a no longer a novice. Well, that was a nice amount of pork to be carrying. Okay, you see the purple spirals of glorious experience? You are now an apprentice. And you will trade me emeralds for cooked food. Ooh, that's quite generous. Eight cooked chicken. Also, rabbit stew. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, do I want to trade you for some cooked chicken, maybe? I'll do that just to see how many exper it, experience it gives. Not tons. Okay. All right. All right. That's going to be an expensive train if I decide to do that. Training exercise is what I'm trying to say. How are we doing with our lava bucket? Nothing. Not a thing. So I, I do think that this is the right recipe for a cauldron full of lava. I just don't have any idea how long it takes, and obviously... Maybe it just sort of appears spontaneously full. I don't know if it fills a little bit at a time, because I don't think that's a thing with lava. Or water, for that matter. Uh, is it? No, it's not a thing with water either. So maybe it just sort of spontaneously f shows as full after some period of time. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That's a, a semi-educated guess. Um... All right, what else could we do? There's lots of sort of routine grindy type things that I could be doing. Um, but that, I don't feel like that makes for super interesting viewing. Uh, maybe a bit of exploration. I have a, I do not have a bed. Let me, let me pick up this bed and um, head off into the wilderness a little bit. So I'm going to go... I think I came way south to get to this location, so maybe I will go east. Let's go east. Across the savanna. And what is my approximate coordinate here? 3900. 3900, yeah, that's right. In the north-south way. Uh-oh, itchy ear. That's not good. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to deal with that. Sorry. Sorry. I'll try not to be... I'll not, not get too carried away. I just need to... I'm not digging for gold. I'm just scratching. Honest. Honest. Okay, so this is east. Pretty sure. And uh, let's just see what we can see. This looks like a crevice right here. Uh, what do you call it? A chasm. And zombies, so I always love, but it's daytime, so, oh, maybe it's not a chasm, actually. It just kind of looks like one. Ooh, I'm going to go on the other side there and murder murder some pigs. Hello, pork chop. That's my pet name for you. This is interesting. You see this a bit, actually, where... Um, these pools are formed in part of the world gen. Oh, now there's pigs over there. Okay, I guess I'm going to go back around. You see it on a, on a smaller scale like this one, and you also see it on a much bigger scale sometimes. 
So that's that's cool and fairly clever, actually, in terms of world gen things that are interesting. All right, where was the other Mr. Piggy? That is neat. Um, I'm going to pop in this to see if this is a cave. It is a cave. Okay. Interesting. Hello, Piggy. Do you feel like being murdered today? I don't care what the answer is. I'm going to murder you anyway. Oh, what a cute little curly tail. You have all the grass. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Don't run away from your murderer. That's rude. Do I want the seeds? No, I do not. Let's toss those out. Ugh. You can't get seeds when you're trying for them, and then when you don't want them, you get them. Like crazy. There's a lot of pigs over here. Oh, that's an armadillo. Ah, you know what? Let's try and kill an armadillo. What the heck? Oh, he goes into a little ball. That's cool and probably to be expected. Can you kill them when they're a ball, or are they indestructible? Oh, no, you can kill them. All right, I've murdered my first armadillo. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. I guess I'm an armadillo murderer is what that means. I'm not sure if that's a coveted title or, or something to be avoided. I really... There was no accomplishment associated with murdering the armadillo, so... So, uh, I guess it's not something to be bragging about. Look at me getting all of this raw pork. One, one or two pork chops at a time. I know I've said this before, but um, getting like two pork chops or one pork chop from a pig. There's an armadillo skewed. I don't know what's killing the armadillos. Like, why are they dying? Wolves, maybe? And I don't even know what a scute is. It's like part of their shell, I think. Anyway, the idea of getting um, one or two pieces of pork from an entire adult pig is... Uh, a bit ridiculous, but anyway, I suppose it would imbalance the game if you uh, if you got just bucket loads of pork from one pig. What is making? Or do they shed them? Maybe they shed them. Oh, you know what? I bet that's what it is. I bet they shed them. I wonder what what if anything you can make from them. Hello, hello, piggy. Hello, pork chop. Would you name a pet pig pork chop? Seems unnecessarily mean, but at the same time, it's not like a pig is going to know what the word means, so. Mm, I didn't get very far, did I? I guess I got sidetracked murdering pigs. Okay, well, seeing as though the sun is going down and I didn't get very far, I will... Uh, Oh, there's more lava. Interesting. Um, and more lava. Wow. Interesting. Lots of lava poking out of the hills all over the place, making lava falls. Uh, I'm just going to put the bed down right here and have a, have a sleep out on the bald savanna. No, it's not bald savanna. It's tree-laden savanna, tree and grass-laden savanna. Let's see if I can't cover a little more ground in the next two or three minutes before I'm going to wrap up this episode. So the lava flows, like water flows. They really only start flowing when the, when the player comes near them. This one's lighting stuff on fire, which is always interesting. When you get a fire started in a uh, dense forest, uh, that, can make, that can be a real ugly, ugly situation. This one here is just going to burn down that tree, and maybe not even all of it. And then all the grass in the vicinity. And that's it. That's all it's going to do. So we'll come back th here at some point and see what's left, if anything. Uh, can I get up this hillside? That is an open question. 
Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Although with a bit of digging, the answer is you can in pretty much all situations. Like this. There we go. There we go. A little bit less of a steep slope here. And now we've got your old school mixed Minecraft forest. Oh, what have we got here? This. Oh, just a big old crevice. There's some iron there, but I don't think I'm going to bother trying to get up there. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go around, I think. Over. Over. Hello, sheepy. Hello, sheepy. Still going east. Sometimes you get a little discombobulated. Traveling and climbing and climbing up and down and all of that. Uh, I'm usually pretty good at keeping my bearings, but not always. And my intention here right now is to uh, mostly go east. So, that's what I'm going to do. I passed all kinds of jungle on the way south to this area. To, this was the first, this, uh, where I set up my, where I set up camp there and I started making my base was uh, the first village I came to in like almost 4,000 blocks. So, that's mildly unusual. Oh, jungle galore. All right. All right. It's weird. Sometimes you really struggle struggle to find jungle. That came out wrong, but oddly rhyming. Sometimes you really struggle to find jungle, and uh, other times you just get infinity of it. So interesting how that plays out sometimes. I'm just trying to descend a little bit carefully so that I don't take much damage, which I did not, so that's good. Massive bamboo stand. Um, um, I think I'll take a little bamboo. I don't think I have any bamboo yet, so I'll just take, I don't know, that's enough. Bamboo grows super quick, but since I'm in a huge stand of bamboo, I'll just maybe take a bit more. It grows rather prolifically, I have to say. Now, am I still heading east? Yes, yes I am. Okay. 34, 34 bamboo, that's enough, since it will grow like mad. Uh, and I'm stuck. Okay. Not that stuck. I like the leaf litter that you get uh, in the bamboo forest, although it is podzol, it looks like leaf litter, which is, I, I think that's the idea of podzol, actually. I don't even know what that means. I should look that up. Melons, which I have. Beef, which I have not much of, but some. It would be interesting to find a jungle village. That would be nice. That would be nice. That's not... I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe jungle villages are a, a figment of my imagination. That is a giant bamboo forest. Wow. I already have cocoa beans, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, sure I do. Sure I do. What's over here? Oh, another lava pit lighting things on fire. Let's go check it out, shall we? It could spread. Oh, there's a crevice, underwater crevice. That could, uh, oh, there's a parrot. Lovely, lovely parrot. Hello, parrot. Don't get in the fire. Don't be an ex-parrot. What are you doing? Don't. So this could spread a lot in the jungle. That's interesting. I could try to control it, but I'm not going to. Parrot, you should probably get the hell out of there. Like, what are you doing? You like living dangerously? What's the matter with you? Seriously. Polly, get the hell out of Dodge. Okay. 
All right, I don't think I can save Polly. So I will just bypass that. Oh, geez, we're already past half an hour. That was quick. I'll just grab some more cocoa since it's literally hanging in front of me. And uh, find a nice, <clears throat> a nice viewpoint and wrap up this episode. And in fact, wrap up playing Minecraft for today. It's uh, just about my bedtime. And the man's got to work. Got to earn money to buy food, etc. Why do we have sugar cane? Oh, you know what? It must have spawned on the gravel. See, I don't know why the game does stuff like that, but anyway, it does. And then, since sugar cane can't actually grow on gravel, it immediately uh, uh, popped loose. What do we have here? Looks like open water. And, oh, donkeys. Okay, this, oh, and a big old cave and water fallen and another village over there. I'll go check that out, but not right now. This is, oh, 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 so pretty. That actually looks really cool. I might go down there to get that iron, but not right now. Anyway, I'm going to save looking at this village in case it's a few days before I get back to it and don't remember. So, um, on that note, thank you so much for watching. You take good care of yourselves, and I shall see you next time. Bye-bye.